my old my old mate he just turning into a bit of a prat really isn't he what a daft thing to say what, a, what an undemocratic thing to say who does he think works for all the members of parliament who get elected and all the councillors who get elected uh, you know we do we're the ones that put the leaflets through the doors and go and knock and talk to everybody and do the facebook pages and raise the money and all that kind of thing you know sir john Knight of the Garter has clearly forgotten what democracy is all about. Of course we're going to have a vote and we will have our say in due course. The quicker the better, in my view, Dan. Yeah. What I would very much like the 22 committee to do is make sure that they have whittled down this enormous number of candidates by the time Parliament goes into recess, which is the 21st of July. So they haven't got long. Wow. But they can, but they Edwin, can how can they do it so quickly? I mean, at the moment, there's something like... 11 candidates, but there's lots of unexpected candidates too. Like, who would have thought Suella Braverman is going to launch a bid, for example? Well, I think some of them are on the basis of, if I stick my neck over the parapet, I will get asked to join the next cabinet. Um, that tells you something about their their, their own self-confidence as whether they actually have any talent or ability. Uh, some of them I will actually struggle to get eight people to sign the, the ballot papers. They've got to do that. Uh, and, and the 22 committee can be quite strict about it. Well, they could change the rules. They could say you can't stand unless you've got 20 signatures. That would probably get the numbers down and it would be a much quicker process to, to get to the point where the minions, us, the people who pay our subs and do all the hard work, actually get to have some say. And my own feeling is that then we could have the hustings during August. We could have a choice in place by First week in September, that would give the new prime minister the chance to uh, sort out some policies, decide what they're going to do. And then we'll have party conference season and we'll all cheer.